Hello everyone and welcome to Creative Design and Supply. Today I want to go over on how to warp um, text. There's a neat, a lot of different sayings and they will be waived. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now, first off, I am using Business Edition Silhouette Studio. Now you can download it for free and you do not need a cutter to use it and to design with it. Um, we have a lot of Cricut customers that um, buy the Business Edition because they can design everything over here and then convert it to a PNG and um, or an SVG and cut it on their Cricut. All right, so with that being said, with the warped uh, tool right down here, as long as you design, as long as you go to designer, you will be able to have a panel that says warped, all right? So it's right down here with all the little crazy guidelines. So we will go ahead and click that, but for right now, I'm gonna show you how I do a little, uh, I do a little guide. And so, I know that may look horrible. Oh, it looks wonderful. Um, you can turn around, you can simplify it. It works fine for me. I may, um, let's see, lower it. All right, so this is just gonna be a guideline for me. Now there are several fonts out there that are, that are real cute. Um, this one I have is Cupid Wide, all right? And let's see. All right, so the key to these are making sure that you have them the size of your stencil. You don't have to, I just like to put it that way. All right, and so we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna click on the ABC, which it already has ones that you can do, but unfortunately, if you scroll down, they're not the waves, it's kind of, but not really. And um, so here I can do um, select my shape and then warp my selected shape. So here I have give, and first off, I want to, all right, so I want to make it as big. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out, whoops. All right. And then this is very, very close. All right. And this is just the first thing that came to my head. So I'm gonna double, or I'm gonna click this one and then I'm gonna come over and warp selected shape. Okay, so now I have it the length that I needed. So I want to leave this straight across because that's the way most of the new designs are. Um, so I am going to take each point and I'm just going to drag it down to my line. And you can pull it over a little bit more. So, and I wanna push that one back up. There we go. All right. So I'm almost there. Oops. So each variation of those lines will give you more. So I'm going to right here, and then I'm going to push this one. All right. And here I can change it if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave it as it is, all right? 
And now I need to slide the G down just a little bit more. All right. Now, if I didn't want it to be straight at the top, I would do that, but I'm going to leave it. And see how I can go. I can grab that point. And then I'm going to move. Whoops. I want it still where you can read it. So I may stretch this out just a little bit. And let's go ahead and stretch that down. All right. So it's pretty good from where I want. Uh, you're going to get the idea of this. So now that I've clicked on this one, we're going to go ahead. And I want to make that one about like that. Now we're going to. Oops, come on, it's not working with me today. All right, so I'm gonna slide it up like this. That way I know I just need to pull these points up. Oops. All right, so now um, I want to go ahead and make this straight too. So I think I'm going to level these out. There we go. So that way they're more even. Um, and if you don't want... So you see how you can manipulate it as much as you want. And if you wanted to, you could make this one go down. Um, but a lot of the designs that I've seen that they are, they are straight across and they are perfect. All right, so now I can grab this and move these how I would like. Um, and if I want to, Go down just a little bit more. I could. All right. So now you get the idea. As long as you grab one of the points and pull, you can flip it over itself. You can do all kinds of stuff. All right. So that way you're not... Um, you're not trying to buy a font file or something that does the waves and it may not do the correct way that you want. Um, then you can turn around and you can go in here and you can color them. Whoops, got to highlight something first. All right. All right. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions about this, comment below and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Um, we have several silhouette tutorials on here. And like always, have a great day. Thanks.